What is going on, YouTube? Uh, today, today I wanted to talk about everybody's favorite topic, you know, uh, and uh, th that's homophobia. <laughs> you know, whether whether you're fighting homophobia or you know you're all for it, I think we could all agree, uh, homophobia is just a, a fun ass topic. Okay. Now, uh, specifically, I wanted to talk about Lightyear, right? And uh, you know, within Lightyear, two women, uh, two women kiss. Now. Uh, when I saw this, I just thought it was hot, to be frank. You know, I didn't really see a problem with it at first. Uh, you know, I I just, I it, it teleported in my hand, okay? I wasn't, I didn't think too deep about it, but uh, lucky for me, our boy Ben Shapiro hit us with the, the amazing take, all right? Uh, Disney works to push a not all secret gay agenda and seeks to add queerness to its programming. According to executive producer Leota Revenue, Parents should keep that in mind that before deciding whether to take their kids to see Lightyear, which hits theaters this week. You know, from, from this tweet, it sounds like there's going to be epic lesbian sex in this movie. But uh, according to other sources, it's literally just two women kissing, right? I don't know. I guess I just, I don't understand the outrage, right? Because uh, a kiss really isn't all too sexual. Yeah, it, it can be sexual, but if it's just a little peck, like, people do that out in public all the time. Like, parents do that in front of their kids. It's really not that big of a deal, right? And it being lesbian literally does not... It doesn't change anything. It's this. It would have been the same if it would have been, like, a straight kiss, right? And, uh, you know, I can totally understand not wanting your kids to go, like, a drag show, for instance, right? Because that is inherently sexual, right? They're dancing suggestively. They're showing a lot of skin. It's not... The problem isn't that it's a guy dressed up as a girl. The problem is, is that it's sexual, right? But it seems Ben Shapiro's problem... With uh, the Lightyear movie, it's just that it's two women kissing, right? Because he outright states it's the gay agenda, right? <laughs> like, like it's, his problem isn't that it's successful, it's that it's literally gay. Which is, I mean, that is homophobic, right? Like, that is a homophobic statement. I haven't done enough research on Ben Shapiro to uh, decide, like, to know if he is actually homophobic. But this is a homophobic statement at the very least, right? And then he, he talks of a not all secret gay agenda. I never I never understood the concept of the gay agenda, right? Like they want I don't think anyone wants more people to be gay, right? Like <laughs> what would be the end goal? Why why would that help anyone? Right? Like I can understand criticizing Disney for possibly virtue signaling and not actually caring about uh, gay issues, right? But I mean, if it's literally just a gay character that exists within a movie, right? That's not virtue signaling. They're just including a gay character. They're not coming out and saying, "Oh, we care," because that would be a that would be a fair criticism. And they seek to add queerness to its programming. Yeah, they probably it, it's just that you know gay people are just becoming more accepted, right? Like it's not it's really not that big of a it's not that big of a concept, like. Gay people exist, thus they exist in media as well. Everything, it's not an agenda, they, they just literally exist within media, you know. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of summed up my thoughts about all this whole situation. I really don't think it's a big of a deal, but I mean, if you disagree, feel free to comment down below, and uh, hope y'all are having a good day. See ya.